Um, I have several questions, but I'd like to just start with the titration process. And if you could explain a little bit about why that's so important for the nervous system. And what I experienced in my first session was that it was such a back and forth of into my resource and out that I never felt like I kind of broke through into moving the energy. So I just would love you to maybe explain that a little bit. The titration process is super important in order not to overcharge the nervous system. So uh, when we hold the trauma in our nervous system and uh, keep repeating Peter Levine's words, the trauma is not in the event, it's in the nervous system. Anything that that reminds our nervous system about the traumatic event potentially can become re-traumatizing and we can slip into the trauma vortex. And this happens so quickly. In a matter of, of a split second, you can lose somebody into the space where they, their system thinks that, again, they're present to this traumatic situation and the whole body, the whole system begins to respond as if it's happening right now. So, in order to retrain our system to be with the charge for extended periods of time, we first need to go in the shorter segments. So we activate and then come back to resource. And again, we activate and again come back to resource. And we need to do this a number of times, especially in the first couple of sessions, so you do not overwhelm your system. we kind of building a resilience that way. Of course, you want to break through in the very first session, but the potential of this being re-traumatizing is bigger than having a breakthrough in the very first session. So we want to support you to break through in a constructive way without, again, bringing overcharge to your system. Because when that happens, we're back to square one. How can you tell when you've overcharged your system? Or when your client is being overcharged? Yeah, a it, it person, um, first of all, by observing that the person is, it looks overstimulated. And also using your resonance, using your felt sense, that you're losing somebody in this trauma vortex, they again react as if they're fully in a traumatic situation. So it's very visible. And so we want to avoid bringing people into that state. And we want to activate just enough so we have something to work with and we stay on that level. Going more than that is not productive anymore. We are enlarging a container, our container, so we can be with activation without losing ourselves in it. So we can remain for a longer period of time with, in an activated state without losing our, without spilling over the top. Somebody could dissociate and disconnect and somebody could be moving so rapidly and so quickly that their um, discharge is not connected to their nervous system. It's just like this big temper tantrum, which is really what we did in our trainings. That was what our teachers guided us to do. And then we understood that was really not of benefit. It feels good and it feels like this great orgasm and then you're exhausted but it doesn't touch the nervous system. It just gives you an experience.